This is the advanced mountain kit, super light 10. Is that a thousand fill down? Yeah, it's got a thousand oh, fill down, nice. uh, which is so compressible and warm. It's a 10 degree bag, um, and this main shell fabric is coated with aluminum, which reflects the body heat. Uh, so you get a warmer bag using less down for basically the same temperature rating, so it's even lighter. Um, the head box and the foot box, that's future light fabric, so it's really breathable where your feet and your head and face are expelling a lot of moisture. It's going to be able to breathe that out a little bit better. Um, it's got a half, half body length zipper that goes up from the bottom in case you need to be roped in while you're sleeping for whatever reason. Um, and the center zip halfway also reduces weight because you don't get the zipper going all the way down. Is there two zippers or just one? It's just one. It's just this one. But the final result is a... Oh, okay, cool. So you can adjust much more. Right, exactly. Yeah. The it's, it's a one pound, 10 ounce bag for 10 degrees. Yeah, I mean, 1,000 yeah. fill power down, half, zip half zipper, like it's going to be crazy light. Uh, that's really cool. We've, we've tested some of their sleeping bags that have the Mylar aluminum in them. Yeah. This actually worked very well. You noticed it? Oh, for sure. That's it's awesome. Easiest on Rainier. Okay. Uh, and yeah, so like saving that weight by having your right. materials. Right. Genius. Right. Good for you guys. That's awesome. What bag was it? Thermarest. The Thermarest type here. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I've heard good things about that bag. Mm -hmm. So with the 1,000 fill power down and all of the different feature set, it compresses really, really small, as you'd imagine. And it's still a 10 degree bag. Yeah, it's like this big. So that's the AMK Superlight 10. If you guys have any questions, we can move on to the tent. This is April. It's uh, spring this year. Yeah. Uh, it is a lot of mountaineering. I do a lot of winter campus before missions and stuff. And so we're always testing like, negative 20 to like 10 degree bags and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it kind of hits a sweet spot. Like if it gets super cold, you can put on your down jacket. But we always, yeah. If it's warm enough, you know, you can just use this and open it up. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And is this a single wall tent? This is a single wall. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sweet, thanks. So this is the Advanced Mountain Kit Assault 2. It builds on the current inline Assault 2 person tent. Um, but it uses future light fabric as the main shell fabric, which is crazy breathable. Uh, and then the floor and wherever you see these orange bits is a nylon with a spectra grid. So it's going to be really durable and lightweight. Again, the whole ethos of all parts of the kit is just like light and fast and durable. Um, it's got a door that only goes down halfway, so you're saving weight there. In the back is another vent. Uh, yep. The back is another vent, uh, and on the inside is an X pole uh, configuration. It's really easy. Yeah, you can check it out. Uh, it's internal pitch. As you can see, there's no holes on the outside. So the rigidity of the pole is a structure. It goes into these catches and the bottom that hold the pole in place. Are they grommets? They're not grommets. Oh, cool. It's just like a durable corner fabric. The poles are carbon fiber poles, so again, really light there. Uh, and the result is a you know four season mountaineering tent that's three pounds three ounces. The proprietary feature light is it uh, waterproof and breathable? Or yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, it's kind of amazing. We get pictures back from the expeditions yeah. of people using this tent and. They're saying it's venting like crazy, obviously with the fabric. Uh, and the only place they'll see condensation buildup is actually on the logo, because it has a screen print over it, so oh, the funny. moisture can't <laughs> pass through that. So it's not the face, right? Right. It's, like the right. it's just the logo. So That's you see the North Face logo popped in the, the water, but yeah. everything else is like super bone dry oh, after great. a night of sleep. We test a lot of single wall tests. We test a lot. And it's cold. There's no ventilation going right. through. Right. Yeah, it makes sense with uh, future light, obviously, yeah. being really breathable, especially if you have two people in there. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Three pounds. Three pounds, three ounces. Yeah. So that's the AMK Assault 2. We can move on to the packs if you guys are ready for that. Yeah. I'm Nate. Right. I'm Mike. Mike. Sorry. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Hey, what's up, man?
So here we have our Spectre packs. We have a Spectre 38 and a Spectre 55. The main difference is here is a roll top, top load closure, and then uh, a removal of top load on the 55. So you can check it out. It's a draw cord okay. kind of cinch closure here oh, nice. that would fold down. Um, a little bit different closures, you know, different use cases. But with these packs, we wanted to provide all of the Alpine necessities like ice tool carry, uh, rope carry. You know, you can cinch down a rope over the top of it and also compress the sides of the pack uh, while making it as light as possible. We're just trying to go for that uh, weight to function ratio. And what you get with these packs is one pound, uh, six ounces, and one pound, 13 ounces. So like stupid light. That's mostly thanks, thanks to the fabric. This is an aluminum, or uh, sorry, nylon with a spectra grit. Yeah, you can feel it's got a, an interesting hand feel. But this, uh, grid-like patterning, you can see that, are all the spectra strands going through the pack. So it gives it uh, body and helps it with some of that uh, rip strength. Uh, and then the nylon provides a body. And there's also a laminate on the inside, so it is waterproof. Cool. It's how durable is that material? So it's durable for expedition. It's like it's 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 flirting that line of durability and lightweight. We wanted to make it as light as possible. Um, so it, it definitely will get through the expedition fine. Um, you know, if you're going to use this for maybe 10 years, I don't know what the pack's going to look like then, but we wanted to flirt that line of as light as possible for getting the job done. Um, and I think we've accomplished that, but mostly thanks to the fabric. Obviously. And as you know, they're like stupid light packs. This is the AMK duffel. It builds on our base camp duffel, which is in line. It has a fully removable top here if you want to take that in the sleeping bag with you or something. This big patterning here is a dimension poly fabric that provides additional structure. On the base is a 1680D nylon, so stupid durable. With this, we just wanted like an expedition pack you can put on the side of the yak in the Himalayas. It's gonna like get the job done, be super burly, and also carry all your gear. Um, and that rounds out the equipment for AMK. If you guys have any questions, I'm all ears. What sizes do these come in? What's that? What sizes do these come in? It's just it's one just size. One size. Uh, I think that's 100 liters, maybe one, maybe 150. We've got to double check. Yeah. Are these also out in April? Yep. Yeah, the whole one. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Pretty excited. Yeah, that backpack is so cool. Uh, yeah, it's, and it's filled with it, Yeah, it's, they're, they're very, very nice. Yeah, you don't catch 55 liter packs under two pounds. No. You guys work in Spectra throughout your line now? Yeah, we're trying to integrate it more, uh, as you can see in the tent and the, the backpack as well. Um, this is woven with Spectra. Oh, really? Yeah. Pretty durable? Or? Yeah, it's supposed to be bomb proof. I haven't put a hole in it yet. Like, go rough up against some rocks. I'm going to go climb and beat a there in it and see what oh, happens. That's yeah. a great place to test it out. That's awesome. When's the Veda trip? I don't know yet. I have a torn labrum, so. Oh, no. In out shoulder? of commission for three months. Hips? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, shoot. Yeah, I feel like you definitely. I can lift stuff. like a Gatorade now. Yeah. I went skiing yesterday for the first time in three weeks, and someone else had to pull my skins for me. Oh, that's nice. That's a good friend. Yeah, good <laughs> friend for sure. Awesome. Okay. I want to introduce you guys to Scott Mellon, who's our GM of Mountain Sports, and I'll walk you through the apparel system for. So he's over here. Thank you so much. Yeah. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. We're doing this? Yeah, you're on. Okay, so this is Scott. Going live. This is the Engearment crew. Yes. Hi, I'm Scott. Hello, Yeah, nice to meet you. Well, hey, Will. Nice to meet you. Okay, all right. Hey, Nice to meet you. Don't hide in the back, Alexa. 
Shot. She tries to not be a solid piece. Right? Yeah, <laughs> always do it, guys. Um, you want me to do an intro? Yeah, I'll sure. Oh, I'm so jealous. <laughs> I do this all the time, so you probably won't even need to edit. God, I like that. You <laughs> need to cut. Hey, my name's Scott Mellon. I'm the global GM of Mountain Sports at the North Face. I'm here to introduce the Advanced Mountain Kit, which is a completely new concept for high altitude mountaineering. We started this project three years ago, January 2017, exactly three years ago. And the, uh, the theory was that mountaineering was changing. We had athletes that were exceptionally fit, that were doing all their altitude acclimatization at home in hypoxic tents. And so the old theory of moving up and down a mountain in a series of different camps, ascending, descending, in a process of acclimatization, spending two months in the zone, it's over. They're actually dropping into a zone and they're summoning within 24 hours sometimes. Jim and Hillary and Jimmy Chin just got back from Antarctica. They climbed two peaks in eight days. And Jim did Cho'oyu and Everest in seven days, two years ago. So the style of climbing totally changed, and, and therefore our hymn suit, which has been around since the 80s, was really becoming a relic. Uh, you don't need a sleeping bag with arms to climb an 8,000 meter peak anymore. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to modernize the whole system and really focus on weight reduction, modularity, moisture management, and really kind of work in some new areas of technology that would enable the athlete to go much faster. So for us, it always starts at the next skin level. So anything, anytime we think about apparel systems, it starts with next to skin and moisture management. So we'll do walk. So this first textile we call dot fleece dot for the physical structure of the fleece. That's the best name I can come up with. <coughs> so dot fleece is a new yarn construction where we blend hydrophilic and hydrophobic yarns. The hydrophilic yarns, which want moisture, are next to the skin, so they're on the interior of the fabric, and they draw moisture away from the skin in microseconds, pushing it to the outside, which is a hydrophobic layer, which does not want the water or the moisture and spreads it for quick evaporation. It's a really, really cool theory in textiles, which the athletes have found to work 100% of the time. And what you'll start to see as we go through the different layers, the super elegant constructions, very simplified constructions. So again, back to that theory of weight management, we're looking at every single detail to take mass out of the product. Because weight means energy. I got less weight, I'm using less energy, I got more for the summit. So things like micro binding at the cuffs, we do a scalloping on the hemline. So when you bend over to fix your crampons or your boots, you're not pulling your base layer out of your pants. So all things that just lead to better efficiency on the mountain. The next layer is a light insulator. It's right around the corner. So a future fleece is a new development in fleece textiles where we're using a new octagonal shaped yarn that we call Octi yarn. So it's got eight sides for every yarn, which means it's got more surface area than traditional round yarn or diamond shaped yarn. That allows it to evaporate moisture faster while wicking faster. That octagonal shape is hollow. So it mimics how a down tube works, and it traps heat. So when you need heat, it's there. It gives you light insulation, but acts as a moisture management tool as well. So if you want to wear this next to skin, which some of the athletes prefer, those that run a little bit colder, go for this next to skin. Some athletes are stacking them, first and second. And then we added some kind of finite details here, and this is really kind of a, a, a detail that acknowledges how close we are with the athletes. So most of the athletes like to keep food and water super close to them. It prevents freezing. So we developed a new microfiber that has huge elongation. And so what that allows is for them to carry a 500 milliliter Nalgene and a day's worth of food in their chest to prevent it from freezing. 
without adding a ton of pockets, which leads to more stitches, more zippers, more findings, more features, and just makes the jacket heavier, or the top heavier. And then we took that same microfiber, and it's actually sewn into the back of the neckline. Oh, that's part of the same garment. It's part of the same garment. So you're never searching in your pack for your buff. Yeah. It's right there. Sweet. So if you don't want it, it can just hang in the back. Mm -hmm. If you want to use it as a neck warmer, great. Full buff. Perfect. That's your choice. So then we'll go into insulation. So we're going to take a walk down to the end here. So I just got back from ISPO. This was product of the year at oh, the wow. ISPO show. Which is the first time the North Face has ever won that award. Sweet. So in, in light midweight insulation, down is preferred. The problem with down is once you start working, you want to take it off because you don't want to wet out the down, you don't want to sweat through it, and you don't want to get wet on the inside. And so your instinct is to take the down off. You could use a breathable synthetic insulator, but you need a lot of insulation to mimic the clo value of down. And the packability of synthetics are really, really bad because you've got friction between the shell and the liner and the sheet insulation that just resists compaction. Mm -hmm. So we did a hack on the system. We took a 40 CFM shell fabric. It's a nylon polyester blend. And we created a tubular down construction. <laughs> Those tubes of down are then sewn to the shell fabric so you create spaces for airflow. So that 40 CFM, you feel the airflow through it. But the tubes are pretty special. So they're sputter coated on the interior with a thin layer of aluminum that reflects the heat yes. inside the tube. And then the tubes are filled with 1,000 fill power down. Which wow. is like unicorn level down. Yeah, unicorn for sure. Happens every couple of years where you can get enough quantity to actually make a system out of it. So all of our down pieces feature 1,000 fill power. Wow. Skip the 150, 900, right to 1,000. Right to 1,000. Good for you. That's called 50 50 down. 50% down, 50% shell. That's genius. It's really CFM. That's a lot of breathability. That's a lot. It's yeah. the same as our lighter Ventrix styles. Makes sense. And then we also did a pant in 50-50, which is a critical piece for altitude. Yeah. But we did a hack on the cuff system. So this microfiber actually sits inside your boot. Oh, yeah. The benefit is twofold. You have less bulk around your ankles, so you cramp on your pants less. And you can see your feet better, which is super critical in alpine climbing. Yeah. That's the 50-50 down. That's so, I, I love down pants too, and that's a really nice hat. I, when I litter camp, I always have my down pants on. It's yeah. like my, my favorite thing to bring. And they're, they're just cozy. They're so cozy. I mean, you even. need them yeah. at altitude, but they're really nice in the camp. Yeah, and for all for of sure. like, what, 10 or 12 ounces, it's such a good oh, thing. Oh, I know they pack up like yeah. nothing. So, um, we do, I don't have them on my top. We'll, uh, we'll get it from you. Yeah, for sure. And uh, we were talking with uh, your colleague about, we've done a lot of testing with down stuff, sleep mix, especially the how they live in the reflected in there. We've, we've seen it work in the winter camping and climbing conditions. It's yeah. cool to see it in the clothing. It's a smart thing. It's, to see why I won this bill award. Yeah, I mean, there's, this is actually an incorrect sample, but this is oh, what it looks it like yep. on the interior of the tube. Oh. So it's only on the interior because it's actually a little bit fragile. Mm -hmm. It's such a thin micro layer. Yep. It's like a space blanket woven in to the down and reflecting yeah. back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Same Sweet. Play. Same mimic. So our, our next style is called the L5 Future Light. Sweet. You've heard of Future Light? Oh, the license done a lot of work with Future Light, yes. Uh, so a little known story, Future Light, I actually started this project, the Advanced Mountain Kit, before we started Future Light. Oh, wow. So Future Light came out of the Advanced Mountain Kit project, and we accelerated the development of it. Yeah, But it was always designed to be in this range. So we did a special version for this range, which is a 10 denier version. So this adds more breathability, trims down weight, um, is ultra packable, super refined findings. 
and just an overall simplified L5 LT from Fall 19. I spent a lot of time on the pan. This is a completely new pan. We've done a 20 denier future light here. You need a little bit more abrasion resistance in the pan. Mm -hmm. Dual pockets on the thigh, rotated to the outside to better integrate with your harness system and your rack. And then, especially from the knee down, we did a lot of work on the pants. So typically, that's where you find all the weight in the pant is in the bottom of it. So we took the gator out. Oh wow! But added lateral grommets, so you can create a stirrup with yep. B cord. Okay, that makes sense. So take the weight out, make it more efficient for travel, customize in the B cord. And then the other issue they have at the bottom of the pants cramp on. So. I eliminated the kick patch, rotated the zip to the back of the pan, and rotated the seam to the back of the pan. And so now there's no bunching. So typically at the top of the kick patch, there's a seam that intersects with that, mm -hmm. and it creates this kind of bunching effect, kind of like my pants here. Yeah. And that's where you cramp on. So I went through all the warranty returns on my climbing <laughs> pants. And that's always where they're punctured. So we just eliminated the, the problem, yeah. which was the kick patch in the seat. How oh, cool. You went through the, the beta, and you're like, all right, here's the yeah. issue. Okay. So we've gone through, in the total kit, 10 rounds of prototyping wow. with six different outlets to get a super refined package. So we know from experience in the Himalaya, from Canada, from Alaska, that all of these little details add up big time. Mm -hmm. So our final piece. Yeah. And so it's such a cool concept because it's like a lot of different uh, breathabilities and waterproof ratings within that family, right? Yes. So yeah, and our fall 19 deliveries, there's six levels of waterproofing and breathability, depending on the textile. The textile is selected for specific activities. Climbing, alpine climbing, ski mountaineering, free ride, free tour, or trail running. Cool. So, so like free ride and ski would have like the most, at least probably breathable, most waterproofing? At least, at least air permeability, because yep. mostly you're riding chairlift. Yep. So we can kind of lock down the air perm. Conversely, for ski mountaineering, we we'll crank it up. For sure. Yeah. And we do, I do a lot of split boarding and a lot of backcountry skiing in our group. So we like the breathability. Yeah, for sure. Me yeah. too. <laughs> So our, our final technology is Cloud Down. We named it Cloud Down because it's so light. And it also kind of hugs you like, like you're in a cloud. So unique construction, it's a broken discontinuous baffle construction where the shell and the liner are welded together. They're not stitched. So there's no stitching in the body of this, which means there's no leakage and there's no cold spots. So it's literally the warmest jacket we've ever made. And it's also the lightest jacket that we've made at this Clo rating. What's pretty cool is we build this entire jacket and then we fill it with down. So normally when you make a down jacket, you create panels. The baffles are in the panels. You fill the baffles, seal them, and then sew all the panels together to make the jacket. We do it the opposite here. We make the entire jacket. It's got one fill port in the armpit. It fills the whole thing. <laughs> Genius. That's rad. So the other thing that that construction allows for is packability. So normally, belay jackets don't pack down so well. This packs down to four liters. So there's no reason not to have it in your pack. liters? Four. Four. The sleeping bag packs down to 2.2. Jeez. Yeah, so you have no reason right. not to take this at all. Exactly. So the, the, the clow rating comes from the fact that you're using 1,000 fill power, and we've got the liner in AL-13, so it's coated with that aluminum, sure. radiating the heat inside, and uh, it just makes for an overall perfect alpine climbing jacket. How amazing. Pretty much for summit days, but also as part of the sleep system. Mm -hmm. So the cloud down jacket and pant are tuned for the plus 10 bag, so on super bag. cold, yeah. you just combine things. Uh -huh. So rather than taking a minus 40 bag, which is like that big around, sure. you can take a small bag and a smaller belay system or L6 system, yep. and you can package them together. So that whole theory of modularity comes into 
your apparel system, your sleep system, your handwear system, and your pack system. We love it. And I'm with you. I, I always go for a medium bag and I just down. It's like totally. there. It works great. If you're going to carry it, wear it. Yeah, exactly. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. So that's the advanced mountain kit, new for spring 20, available at retail on May 4th. What's up? I like the new overboots. Yeah, they're rad, aren't they? Pretty toasty, too. That was a really good demonstration of talk. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Super <laughs> awesome. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. It's a pleasure meeting you. Nice to meet you guys. Pleasure. See you, cameraman.